Okay, everybody, I have got an exciting video for you here because our brand new bike partner at the channel, Phil Bicycles, have just sent a delivery to GTN offices. And that means, rather excitedly, I am able to unveil this. And this is my brand new felt IA disc advance with Shimano Di2 Altegra and as you can see, some disc brakes. Now this is the first time that I've ever had a TT bike with disc brakes, so really looking forward to riding those. And all in all, I think it's a beauty. Now as you can see, it is pretty much straight out of the box and as yet unridden, although pretty much fully built up. So now is an ideal time for us to go through the details of this bike. Right, so I'm gonna get started on the frame set on my felt, and it is a very striking one indeed, I'm sure you'll agree. And I guess that in large part is due to these very wide down tube and seat tube shape. Also not to mention this deep head tube and fork juncture as well. It's just really different to a lot of the other frames you see out there in the market. Plus as well, another thing that catches my eye is that rear triangle, which is very unique to this felt because You've got extremely dropped seat stays there and that whole design has been built around the discs and the through axle system that Felt have integrated into this frame. Now talking about through axles, as I said, this is the first time that I've ever ridden a TT bike with disc brakes and to cope with the stopping power of those disc brakes, the bike has through axles both front and rear. So I best make sure that I carry my trusty Allen keys with me out on bike rides to make sure that I can get that out should I have a puncture. In terms of the frame size, this is a 54 centimeter that I have opted for. And the color scheme, which I like a lot, if I must admit, this is called the Spatter. And it has a nice mix of red, blue, and yellow in there, alongside a sort of bare naked carbon checkered effect and a gray glossy effect to the bottom of that there in the frame. So all in all, I think it's pretty eye-catching. Now, as with most top-end frames on the market these days, it's almost impossible not to discuss integrated storage solutions that come with those frame sets. And this is no different with my new felt here, and it has not one, but two storage locations on the bike. And the first one is this integrated setup up here on the top tube. And they're often called bento boxes, but specifically felt call this their integrated Calpac 2.0. And it's a really useful bit of kit. It's nice and deep. There's quite a lot of space here into the frame. So there's loads of opportunity to put things like nutrition, which would probably be my option mid-ride or especially if I was racing, maybe even your phone, or of course, not forgetting those Allen keys that we need to pull out those bolt through axles should we have a puncture. And then moving back onto the seat tube here, we've got the second storage option on the IA. And this is what felt called their BTS pack. And this has been aerodynamically optimized to make sure that there's absolutely no penalty from a drag perspective, which is pretty good to know considering I'm gonna hopefully try and ride this bike quick at times. But you can take it off if you want. And there's just two boss mounts here that it is mounted onto, similar to the ones here for your bottle cage. I'm going to personally keep it on there because I just think it's entirely useful for spare tubes, CO2 canisters and keeping my jersey pockets nice and free. So now I'm moving on to the cockpit on my bike here and this has come with Felt's proprietary handlebar which is this aluminium Devox bayonet and the accompanying extensions to go with that. They've got a nice ski bend rise which I am a fan of. I like the release that gives to my wrists when I'm sitting in the TT position so I'm pleased about that. And on the end of those I've got the Shimano Di2 blips for changing gears and on the end of the base bars is this integrated shifter and hydraulic brake combo from TRP for those hydraulic brakes that the bike comes fitted with. And one final point on my cockpit to talk about is the points of contact. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these arm cups and pads that have come with the bike, but I'm quite particular, especially when I'm sitting in a TT position quite a lot about the feeling up there on the armrest. So I've actually got my own set of arm cups that are gonna come off of another bike and I'm gonna swap out, but we'll get onto that a little bit later in the video. 
So now moving on to the group set on the bike and it has come with a full Shimano Altegra DI2 group set. Now in terms of the cranks, Felt has supplied all of these IAs with a 5236 combination in the chain rings. And then moving back here to the cassette, I've got an 1128 on there and standard Shimano 11 speed chain. In terms of the crank length on this bike, well, that is dependent on the size. And since this is a 54 centimeter, as I mentioned, that means that they are 170 mil cranks that Felt have put on the bike. But interestingly, on their smaller models, so say the 48 and the 51 centimeter model, those cranks would have come as a 165. And similarly, if it was a larger model up to a 58 centimeter, say, then those would be 172.5 mil. Now, as I've mentioned already in this video, this is the first time I've experienced disc brakes on a time trial bike. And that stopping power on this bike is provided by TRP discs with 140 mil rotors. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how these disc brakes improve the ride experience when I'm using them. Now the wheels that I've got on the bike are these Vision Metron 55 SLs, which personally speaking, I think are a super compromise between being not too deep if it's windy and nice and aerodynamic, should I be able to go fast out there on the roads. Now equipped onto those wheels, I've got some Grand Prix 5000s from Continental and they are 25 mil wide front and rear. Now, as much as this is an absolutely fantastic bike, don't get me wrong, there are just a few things, as I alluded to earlier, that I want to tweak on it to make it a little bit more preferable for my riding position. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is the saddle. Now, this actually was the saddle that came on the bike. This is the ISM PS 1.0. And this is a very popular time trial saddle. You see a lot of athletes riding with these days, but it's actually a saddle that I've never ever used and not familiar with sitting on. So I've already swapped that over for the saddle that you can see on there which is this Physique Arione, a much more traditional road saddle which is something that I use throughout my racing career so a lot of people are surprised that I don't opt for a more wider rimmed saddle like this ISM but I'm gonna stick with it I'm always been happy with those types of saddles so there we go I've already got that moved over already now Moving on to another addition, as I mentioned earlier, these arm cups, again, are perfectly good arm cups, but I have become quite fond of these high-sided arm cups that some of you might be familiar with because back in the summer, I did a bike fitting video with Matt Bottrell and he suggested these, which I have definitely gotten used to riding on my other bike. So these are moving over too, and I'm gonna be popping them on up there very soon too. And a final few alterations to complete this bike for my own preferences will be adding a set of pedals, because as you can see, I don't have any pedals in there. So I'll be adding on a set of Luke pedals. That's the ones that I tend to use. I'll also be adding a bottle cage onto that seat tube because I definitely want to have some hydration when I'm out on my rides. And Finally, the more keenly aware of you will notice that this bike is not sitting in the 52 as it is on this bike, 52 large chain ring and the 11 cog at the back. And that is unfortunately because the DI2 is in charge. So I need to get my DI2 charged up as well. And then I will be ready to go and get out on the roads on my brand new felt IA. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed this video about my brand new felt bike. I am really excited about the prospect of getting out on the roads and riding on it. Please hit that thumb up like button if that is the case. Find the globe on screen to get all our other videos. And if you do want to see that video that I made about my bike fit early in the year with Matt Bottrell, you can find that down here. And for another video with a felt in it that Mark shot recently about tubeless myths, well, you can find that up here.